Beautiful. But Billy, you did bring along some snakes that might actually hurt you, unlike this guy over here. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a beautiful common death adder down here, um, ranked about number six in the world for most venomous snake at the moment. But you've got the big gun here, don't you? You've got number one. We have. We've got the inland taipan, world's most venomous snake. One drop of venom can kill 100 blokes like your size. So that's about kill 100? Kind of... Yeah, We've got no about worries. 100 people in our audience. <laughs> one drop of venom. Really? It is, uh, it is crazy how dangerous it is. Look, the obvious thing is, you know, stay inside and don't go near any snakes, but we can't all live like that. How do we avoid them, Chris? If you do stumble across one, obviously don't move towards it, don't try to be a hero and flick it away or try to kill it. Step back and just slowly edge away from it and it'll see its chance and actually scurry off. But what about our pets as well? Because pets don't know this advice. Yeah, this is where it gets really tricky because our pets see themselves as being the defenders of your backyard. So if they see a snake coming into your yard, quite often they will try to attack it and that's really dangerous. Um, don't leave your pet food out because that att attracts rodents, which in turn uh, attracts snakes. What do you do if you do get bitten? What, 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 you know, do you tie off like Miguel has? Well, no, um, <laughs> that, that's probably over the top, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah. I mean, the, the key is that you ha essentially have to keep still. I mean, the more you move around, the more the venom spreads. It actually goes through your lymphatic system um, rather than through your, your blood uh, supply, through your, your blood vessels. Don't run anywhere for help. Call someone to come to you. 90% of snake bites in Australia are from people trying to pick up or capture, kill the snake, and they get bitten, and that's how the accidents happen. Your job description correct me if I'm wrong, is snake milker. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you're, like, you're like the main snake milker in Australia. You're the guy. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. Really? Can we see you do it? Can you do it here and now? Yeah, yeah, I've got the tools here. We'll, um, we'll do you it. You OK, Baz? No, uh, so far, but Miguel's got to keep an eye on that thing around his neck. I'm going to milk a tiger snake, which is in the oh, top five. Look at five. that head in there. <laughs> Most venomous snakes in the world. Uh, 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 oh, 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 is that, is that a real snake, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yes, Miguel, it's a real snake. Yeah. So She's you're getting real. control of him there and you've got to get your, your fingers behind his head. Yep. Wow, well, Barry, you should have a look at this guy. And can you hold that mate. for me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. So these are the venom glands up the top here. And they're huge on a big tiger snake like this. And he'll drive his fangs into that? Yep, he'll pierce straight through that plastic. Oh. Boom. What? Ah. Look at that! He's quite beautifully coloured, isn't he? The green. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful species. If, if you just let him go, did he get us? Um, oh, if I let him, like, unleashed him yeah. on you. Oh, he might have a go over you, annoy him, but... I'm just wondering how close I am to danger. Just got to get him off now, that's it. <laughs> oh, how do you do that? <laughs> Wait for him to let go. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, wow, so, Billy, that is happens? something else. Now what else. happens? I'll put him away. Oh, no need. <laughs> is, is, that, is that box safe there? I mean, do you need someone to hold that box? Because <laughs> there's a guy not doing much on the stairs behind us. Right, right. So it's not much, but cause that's the venom right there, and that's enough venom to kill at least 10 adults. Wow. And if you just touch it or swallow it, would it kill us? You can touch that or drink it, whatever. As long as you've got no abrasions or open wounds, it's not going to enter your system. That has to go right into your bloodstream. Yeah, so that's why they've got the fangs and they just drive it into you. And it's, it's not only as a defence, it's also to help break down their food items. So he's eating, you know, frogs and rodents and whatever he can get his, get his, well, his mouth onto. <laughs> um, and the venom will actually start to break down that food item. Wow, if, if we had some blood, I mean, we could actually demonstrate how it works, but <laughs> if only we had some blood. <laughs> Where would you get blood on Halloween? Is that human blood? It might be. <laughs> Out of your so, drinks cabinet. <laughs> if we put the blood in here... Oh, your recipe is getting out of control, gringo. You get, you get different kinds of venom. Some affects your nervous system, some affects your blood, but the tiger snake venom really affects your blood, doesn't it, Billy? Oh, yeah, wait till you see what happens here. It's your bloody Mary. <laughs> Let me stick this in, not you. I don't want to... Risk you getting stabbed. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yep. Oh. So that's just see it starting to change colour. One already. drop. Oh. There's something happening in there. I can see that that blood is thickening up. Should we have a look at it? Wow. 
So the key is don't get bitten by a snake. <laughs> So a really good advertisement for why you need to stay still if you do get bitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do not want that in your blood supply. No. Gringo, the snake is going to blazes. Can you get it off? <laughs> <laughs> they won't get angry, no, if I poop. Oh, okay. well, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Billy, that has... Ugh, that's been absolutely fascinating. Please thank Billy Collett. That's been wonderful. Thank you.